Do you know your air quality? This lets you monitor it. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I want to talk about air quality. We're all breathing the stuff. We're indoors more often than we're outdoors. And do you ever stop and think, hmm, I wonder how healthy that air is. We have things like smog. We have forest fires that are billowing smoke into our neighborhoods. We have household cleaners. Someone's in the kitchen cooking and they might have burned things a little bit. All of those are contributing to bad air quality. And that's important because really poor air quality has been proven to have some really deleterious health effects. You don't want that. So you need a way to monitor your air quality. Enter this. This is the Temtop M10i Wi-Fi air quality monitor, and it's a pretty slick device. Now, the most important part of it is on the back. This grid shows you all the air sensors, and it has two really important sensors here, one of which is a laser particle sensor, and it also has an electrochemical formaldehyde sensor. So between those, it takes a lot of power, so you can unplug it, and it'll work by itself on battery for like 12 to 24 hours, so you can stick it somewhere overnight and see how it goes. But it's generally designed to be plugged in, and it comes with the wire, but I had to supply my own wall charger, so you'll wanna know that. But you plug it in, it's micro USB, yeah, my least favorite part of the whole device. Why not just use USB-C? So much easier. Anyway, so you plug it in, you put it where you want it to monitor your air, and it's ready to go. And it has four primary displays. So this one is the air quality index. There's a button on the top and a push gets me to the next one, and that is TVOC. That is volatile organic compounds. These are the kind of things that are emitted into the air when someone's using a cleaner, for example. So you think that, oh, that lovely pine smell, it's actually not very healthy for you. Next one is HCHO, which is that carcinogenic formaldehyde, and this number should always be super, super low. Now, Here's the secret, is that there's a little tiny light on the top and it says it's showing green right now. If it says or indicates yellow, you've got a problem. If it indicates red, you have a serious health issue and you probably need to at least open the door, or open the windows and get some air circulating and improve your air quality. And then finally, I'll push one more time and then this gets us to PM 2.5. This is particulate matter. This is where it would be sensing things like smoke, like the billowing smoke coming through your neighborhood from a forest fire 600 miles away. It's amazing how far that travels. All of that can get in your lungs and even in your bloodstream, and that's really not healthy. So having this device be able to monitor all that is an absolute win. Now, here's a cool thing is if you double push, then it will actually automatically cycle through the different modes. And let me give you a close up from what I was playing with creating bad air quality. And we'll do that again. But you can see it's really easy and you can look for that colored light to just double check that everything's clear and everything's good. Now, what makes this particular Temtop unit really cool is it actually pairs with an app on your phone. So let me get a recording and I'll have you watch what happens. Now, it's important to note with these recordings or the actual software that it's not real-time second-by-second data. It's collecting the information every so often. So the M10i is this device. And you can see here's the most recent reading and I can tap on it and get more data. I can go into settings and I can change the logging interval. I have it going as fast as possible. In reality, I'd probably do it every 10 or 15 minutes unless I was experimenting with it, which is exactly what we're doing. So let's go look at air quality and you can see my air quality is generally pretty good. Let's go and look at a week. So I just tapped on the date and now I can choose week and done. And now you can see that yesterday <laughs> I was experimenting with this and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing today by lighting a candle. So you think, oh, candles are cool. So we're gonna just leave this, let's see, let's leave it here. And again, remember it only gets that data every so often, but I'm gonna leave it here and we're gonna put this over here. Let's see if we can get this all set up properly. 
And then I am going to light a candle and you're going to watch what happens to the air quality. Now you're probably thinking, you know, I kind of like the smell of a, of a match when it's lit. That's actually particulate matter. So watch. All right, so you can see that number is going up, right? Because this is not something you should be breathing. And so now let me light the candle and then even more when I blow that out, look, that's, I think you can see there's all sorts of smoke going on here. And all of that <coughs> is also going into my lungs, which is not good. So we have the candle lit. Let me put the match here so it's safe. And you can see that the candle is definitely registering on this device and it's definitely suggesting that it's not healthy. On this, it hasn't actually done an interval yet. So let's see if I can prompt it to collect data. Let's see. Nah, I find that this is like uh, five or 10 minutes behind even when you do a minute by minute interval. So at some point, it should show up with the higher numbers. Let's see what's going on here. Um, well, so far, it's still saying that my air quality is good. <laughs> at some point, it's going to do exactly what I showed you it did yesterday. Um, if I go to yesterday and you can see that is there was that huge spike. That's from exactly what I just did. So I'm going to stop the recording. Um, it's not really intended to be a real time monitor. So I'm not sure that that's a fair test for me to do anyway. This is more something that I think works really well if you're worried about like your office or your classroom or maybe in your car or maybe you have a workshop or something and you're like i wonder if all of those different smells from painting and from woodwork and all of that i wonder how healthy that air quality is and so you can put something like this in maybe do like every 15 minute interval let it run for a week and then you can go and analyze your information and you can identify things like oh look at that when it's midnight and the furnace that's right next store kicks on then look at that air quality suddenly get terrible and then it gets normal pretty quickly anyway so that could tell you things like you need to have better ventilation or you need to have more air circulation or it might tell you that you're doing great now let's blow out this candle and then tons of smoke <laughs> There's a whole lot of smoke going on there. In fact, I am going to stop it. So now you can watch on the monitor. This will be cool. Ugh. You can watch on the monitor the air circulation in my studio to see how quickly that number improves. So that's really everything I have to show you. I think this is a really, really important piece of um, equipment to have in your space. Whether it's your home, your office, your studio, your classroom, your car, your RV, how healthy is your air? And if this helps you identify that you have problems, you can then figure out how to solve those problems. Generally, it's just better air circulation and getting a little more air coming in from outside. Now, if it's super cold and you're in your RV, that presents a different challenge because now you're gonna bring down the temperature, so you're gonna kick up your heater and your heater might be generating poor air quality too. If you're aware of this, you can at least figure out what to do next. So, comes with the app in terms of the dimensions. Look at that air quality, it's terrible. <laughs> it's 3.2 inches by 3.2 inches by 1.2 inch and it's seven ounces. And like I said, you can unplug it for a period of time. It is not intended to be unplugged and just sitting somewhere for a month or two. That's just the sensors take too much energy for it to do that. But those sensors are what this is all about. So I don't see that as a negative at all. Just realize you'll have to use their included micro USB to USB A cable and your own wall charging device or some sort of charging device. You could also plug this into a computer or any other thing that has a USB port. You could probably plug it into a television and that would give it enough power. So 
that's ah, really everything I have here. This is definitely one to check out. I think it's really important to monitor your air quality. I have a number of these sensors because I want the best quality air possible. I don't want to have any issues with asthma. I don't want to have like lingering coughs or anything like that. So this is one that's definitely worth checking out. Now let's talk about the price. So before we get to the price, Let's talk about subscriptions. <laughs> Please go ahead and click or tap on that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up if this was helpful and valuable. And of course, if there was something you wish I would have shown, then please go ahead and give me a comment or leave a comment and I'll respond. I respond to all my comments. So cool. This is the Temtop M10i Wi-Fi air quality monitor, and it's $125.99 at temtopus.com. And I actually have a discount code in the description that will drop some money off of that if you want to really check it out or get one for yourself. And I'll also note, if you want the monitor, but you don't care about the Wi-Fi side of it, they also have another version of this that's about $40 cheaper that gives you all the same sensors and all the same capabilities, but you don't get the app and you can't collect data, so it's just more of a real-time display. That might be plenty enough if, because, you know, if you're in a classroom, for example, and you have kids in the room, you don't really care what the air quality is like when no one's in there. So it might not be the case you need to collect that data. Either way, all of that you can check out on their website. This one is going to go into the corner of my studio because I want to make sure I always have good quality air. And honestly, I can still smell this candle. So I know my air quality still is not optimal. That's all I got. I'll hope to catch you in my next video.